Welcome to this Tech Unplugged video cast, the last one today. Yes. Happy with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Um, so we've been talking a lot about Velo Cloud, what you bring to VMware, what the VMware ecosystem together with Velo Cloud brings to the customers. We've talked about SESI. Um, we've talked about security, we've talked about SD-WAN. Um, I think it is time to talk about use cases. Mm -hmm. So could you explain a little bit more what the main use cases for the fellow cloud products are for your customers? Yeah, absolutely. So SASE, Secure Access Service Edge, uh, a new term to describe sort of the evolution of the networking industry really highlights the, the kind of use cases that we're bringing to the fold. SASE is all about cloud management of your network, about ensuring access to a distributed set of services and doing that in a secure way. Uh, and, and that's what we do at VeloCloud. From a use case perspective, very diverse. We have everything from a single site user sitting at home to 20,000 users sitting in an office in Shenzhen. So I could talk for a long time about use cases. Uh, but it's really about secure distributed access to various services. Okay, so you talk about applications. VeloCloud gives the opportunity, like you already mentioned, for, for one user at home, but also for 20,000 in Shenzhen. So can you explain a little bit more about how VeloCloud can optimize those applications performance? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, classic application performance improvement has focused on identifying specific applications that are important and trying to optimize those applications in the network. And with VeloCloud, we took the flip approach. We just decided to characterize the network underneath and optimize the network for any type of application that comes to us. So we do something called deep application recognition. It's a multi-step process. We have SaaS partners. We know their IP address is important, so we can identify those applications on the first packet. We have integrated DPI. We have other mechanisms that we use to identify applications, ports, SNI, certificate names. And then we have heuristics where we look at packet size, arrival frequency. We identify the type of application dynamically, and then the network conditions that we've monitored and measured in real time. And we use those two things together to ensure that we steer traffic over the best link and that we apply error corrections as needed to achieve the SLA for that type of application. Okay, and so networking, that's always a, a rigged thing, right? It's always hard and if you talk like that, it's a thing where a lot of people will have something like, okay, you mention a lot of things, is that all easy so may, do you, does fellow cloud make that easy for the customer is that something that will help them in the journey from being mostly on premises into the cloud and using everything from that perspective from a vmware perspective perhaps yeah i think you know from a velo cloud perspective we do a lot of analytics around the way our customers use our service and one of the most powerful stats that i think I like to bring out is that 93% of VeloCloud customers don't configure QoS rules. That means they rely on those things that I talked about earlier, that we can dynamically detect the applications, prioritize them in real time, steer them over the best links. And that means as I add a new cloud service, as a new application comes in the network, I don't have to make configuration changes. I don't have to do anything. VeloCloud learns that there's a new application, prioritizes it, and routes it properly. So then again, who, who are your customers at the moment? So are that the MSPs, is that the enterprises, or like you already mentioned, are that a couple of people working from home, or can you <laughs> elaborate a little bit more around that? Yeah, I mean, the answer is yes, right? <laughs> so our, our business is really driven through partnerships, so through MSPs, through service providers, uh, but they reach a variety of different customer bases, all the way from insurance companies with six, eight, 9,000 sites to, I mentioned those small customers, 
one of our service providers that's a, a voice service provider predominantly, they have more than 9,000 VeloClouds deployed and their average customer size is 2.1 sites. Just to give you a sense of how many different customers that they've facilitated this access for. Yep, so another question would be, we're talking about the edge a lot. What is the edge for VeloCloud? <laughs> yeah, network edge, right? Network edge is a term that used to mean the branch router. It used to mean the edge of the office before it goes to the internet. And we talked about security earlier and the old notion of a trusted side and an untrusted side. Well, now I have, I have my branch, I have my private cloud in the data center, I have Azure, I have AWS, I have security services that I've deployed. My network edge is everywhere at once, right? And so how do I get a holistic view and how do I know that policies are being applied consistently across all of those various edges? And that's where VMware and VeloCloud come into play. So there's a lot of trends going on at the moment in the IT sector. SD1 being one of them, Software Defined being one of them. Um, we've talked about NSX and the integration between an, a fellow cloud and, and, and NSX. Can you tell us a little bit more about your journey with your customers to helping them leverage the emerging trends that they have to face as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of times people think data center networking, branch networking, they're very different. The problems are different, the applications are different, the vulnerabilities are different. A lot of times in big companies, the team that manages the two networks is different. But a lot of the, the concepts that we're applying in NSX and in VeloCloud are very similar. How do we do security in an in a, you know, easy to manage way? How do we identify anomalies going on in the network? How do we virtualize things? How do we support flexibility in application deployment? Uh, I think across VMware, we have synergies in the way that we're viewing and solving those problems, and that's where our various product lines are coming together. So if you look at SD-WAN as an enterprise thing, um, isn't it, is that the use case that we'll be seeing um, for the next couple of years coming from VeloCloud, or is it really, I think like you already mentioned a little, much more on, on all sides of the equation? It's not only the enterprise, right? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not only the enterprise. Uh, in, in small companies, the, the cloud and this network of clouds presents this tremendous value. I don't have to maintain an email server anymore. I don't have to maintain a branch firewall anymore. I can move both of those functions to the cloud. Big companies can get the same benefit from that. And so we've built what we think is a unique architecture with our cloud orchestrator, with our cloud gateways to facilitate that. And now, you know, you see that what's happened in the industry throughout our life, we're now getting into this, this sassy world where the architecture that we've built is the perfect architecture for where things are going. So is that something that has to do with the Internet of Things, with all that kind of stuff going on, um, like I already men mentioned, in the emerging trends? And is that something where VeloCloud can help the VMware customers thrive in, in, in that business as well? Yeah, I mean, Internet of Things, uh, this, this explosion of apps, this variety of different clouds, they all present challenges to networking, especially in networking security. How do I maintain things that are safe? How do I prevent rogue devices on the network? How do I identify anomalous behavior? Otherwise, I'll have a whole team of people just trying to manage and keep up with what's changing so quickly in the market. Uh, yeah. And I think the dynam dynamicism of our product really lends itself to simplifying that. So, last question from my side would be, is there, You've got two teams working together. You've both been bought by VMware. So NSX, actually there's much more, like we already mentioned in, in, in other interviews that you already did, uh, Carbon Black, um, and then VeloCloud. How is that working within VMware? Um, how is the partnerships and how do you get to the next level within VMware on that side? Yeah, I mean, 
VMware is a, a really great company. We're really fortunate to be a part of the team. There have been acquisitions. There have been a lot of acquisitions recently, perhaps, but it's not just about acquisitions at VMware. And I think that's a really powerful story. That's why entrepreneurs like myself stay at VMware because innovation is really, really strong in the culture at VMware. And so we have the op opportunity to work with NSX, to work with Carbon Black, to work with End User Computing Group, and to innovate together and continue to build solutions and to continue to have that startup mentality, but with a big company backing us up. So that's another thing. You mentioned end user computing. Can you tell a little bit more about what you're doing on that side? Because that's probably something that's really interesting to the viewers as well. Yeah, I mean, we're still in the, in the initial phases of, of integrating with EUC, but I think it's a pretty logical extension to think they have mobile access, they have a lot of user identity. Those are critical things to policy administration and to security. And so you can imagine that that's a logical place for us to bring two products together uh, and extend not just from the data center to the branch, but all the way to the end user device. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, from a tech unplugged perspective, I think we really learned a lot about what you guys do and um, what the portfolio of VMware um, is really a great thing to see. And it's really great to see companies like Fellow Cloud being integrated into VMware this quickly. Is there anything you want to add for the viewers? You had a couple of interviews now, <laughs> so maybe you want to tell them something. Uh, I think, you know, as you see things like the Secure Access Service Edge, you see these industry trends that get defined. It's really fulfilling to see how well our architecture fits into that and that we were sort of at the forefront of that. And as I mentioned, so great to be a part of VMware, to be here at VMworld, to hear from customers about how all of these products are working together to facilitate their ease of use of their network uh, and beyond. Go to the website and you can watch these videos because this is not the only one and um, <laughs> we have a lot of great things coming up. So stay tuned and thank you for, uh, for being here. Yeah, thank you very much.